G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so this one is a little bit of a bucket list item for me. Been uh, hoping to get into a bit of saltwater fly action this summer. And uh, my four weight just came the other day. Little TFO, what is it? LK Legacy, four weight nine foot with an NTR reel. That's the one size, so suited to three and four weight line. Floating four weight line, little chartreuse clouser. So now that I've got the, the setup, just gotta capitalize on a bit of flatfish action. So I haven't actually caught a flatty on fly before. So that's, that's the goal for today. Get one of those guys and anything else is a bonus really. But yeah, um, by no means am I a good fly fisherman. I've just been down the park a couple of times to practice and, and that's about it. So you're gonna watch a lot of painful fly fishing but we'll see how it goes. Feel free to drop any tips and hints in the uh, comments section and let me know Let me know how I performed on it and what I can do better next time. But cheers guys, hope you enjoy the video. What is this? Oh, he's got a flatty. Oh. Oh, he's peeling there for a little bit. Oh. Oh. Might even get him back to the reel here. He's on the reel. He's on the reel. Okay. Well, that is just about to be my first flatty on fly. All I gotta do is convert. Look at that fish. Still giving me a bit of curry. Just ate it on the drop there. <laughs> Didn't really get a chance to do much. Not a big fish, but it's respectable. Cool fish. Well, there we have it. Nice little Swan River flatty on fly, probably a high 30 specimen. Uh, I'll try and get my fly back. It's down there somewhere. So, because that flathead ended up swallowing the fly, got it out luckily and he swam off, um, I had a bit of chafing just up above the, above the knot to my fly there bit of eight pound fluorocarbon leader so I'm just gonna retie that with the uni knot. Always worth those little one percenters because you could lose a very big fish next next time um, just because of you know lack of due diligence on retying knots particularly when you know a fish has swallowed it and yeah you, you, you know your line is is pretty compromised. No way Hold on, hold on. This just got chased up by a big flounder. <laughs> Surely. Oh no, tip wrap. Get off. Right at the wrong time. Love a good dog, good old tip wrap. That flounder won't have moved far either. The flounder do like a fly. Come on, come on. Come back. It was not very far from me either. Just chuck a little bit of that cheeky roll cast in. Bit of a cheeky. Let's see if I can find him again. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> How good is that? Oh, flounder. Off he goes. Come on. Set those hooks properly. Yeah, come on. Look at, oh, that's a big flounder, hey. Oh my goodness, it's massive. Oh, it's big. If, it, if it's the size I think it is, it's proper big. This is insane. Oh. 
Oh, it's good. It's a really good flounder. Oh my goodness. Was not, absolutely not expecting. No, there we go. There we go. Come on, eat it again. Eat it again. Eat it again. No way, he's eating it again. No way. Okay, this is properly crazy. He's eating it again. Okay, I'm just walking him straight in. I'm not messing around. That is crazy. A more stupid fish you will not find. Oh, I swallowed it the second time as well. Oh, there he goes. Where is he? Will he eat it again? Oh, no way. No, he's eating it again. That's crazy. That is stupid. That is really stupid. <laughs> That is the coolest yet dumbest thing I've seen and I'm just gonna toss him back on shore. He's not as big as I first thought he was, but that's a proper legal size flounder. Um, mate, natural selection is almost working its wonders here. Possibly one of the dumbest fish I've ever seen. Okay, uh, I can confirm that the fly is not visible anymore, barely. It's just not. <laughs> so, uh, this one, gonna have to figure out a way, but he's coming home. Because this one will not survive the required surgery. Shame, would have loved to see him swim off, but when you're that dumb, I guess you deserve to die. Oh, jeez. I cooked my forecast, my last forecast and it lost it backwards so I just let it go backwards started working it <laughs> and oh well what do you know is this a flatty or a flounder it's one of the two I saw the shadow following it so I just paused it and uh, there you go that looks like a flatty actually but we will see we will see It'd be very cool if it's another flounder it's got kind of like the width to be one but it looks like a flatty actually that's okay I don't mind. Oh, what are you? Oh, it is another flounder. Oh, no way. That is cool. That is very cool. Very, very cool. It's another good one. Look at that. That one's got awesome colors on it. Lovely flounder. Look at that. Because this guy uh, hasn't swallowed, I will be releasing him. Have a look at that. Look at the colours on him. Some chartreuse clouds are there. We'll send him on his way. He goes that way. Another flounder. Literally the very next cast. The very next cast. This is crazy. Are they breeding here or something? <laughs> oh, it's a pretty good one too. It's another pretty good one. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, he's just hooked too. It's alright, I'm going to release him anyway. Just pinned. There we go. See him, what? Another flounder, could be the same one. <laughs> Looks kind of the same. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, I just saw him coming in hot, so I paused it. And uh, he latched on. Might just net this guy. Because, uh, oh no, he swallowed too. In you go, buddy. <laughs> They're all good sized flounder, eh? <laughs> They're all very good sized flounder. Oh no, he has engulfed it. He's proper down the hatch to that one. Whoa. 
That might be a walk into the shoreline, Jobby. Let's see how we go. Okay, unfortunately, it looks like we've got another dead flounder. Purely because they're so aggressive today. Like that hook point is actually down his gullet. Not a lot I can do, but take him home and uh, make good use of him. These guys are fantastic eating, but they've just made a resurgence in the swan. So I'd like to, you know, keep it that way by not completely pillaging the population. But you know what? There's only so much you can do. Oh, Flatty. Flatty. Was not paying attention. <laughs> Put a false cast, well, a mistake cast, I'll call it, over the weed bed. And um, it turns out that's where this Flatty was lying. I think it's a Flatty. Better not be another flounder. Better not. It's a... Uh, Oh, it's flounder, hey. <laughs> it's a flounder. No way. Oh, that is insane. Come on. Oh, it feels like he swallowed it too. Better not have. Oh, no. At least I can see. No, I can see the fly this time. Slightly more in the mouth. So, um, by no means am I a good fly fisherman at all. I'm shocking. I've had a few sessions down the park, learning to cast an eight weight, but now I've got the four weight out, so challenges involved with that. But all I'm doing is taking my time and making sure I hit areas where I think the fish are gonna be. So that's along these little mottled weed patches in between those. And then I'm going to focus on those weed areas out there and chuck a few in the sand because I've been getting a few flounder or possible follow. What's that? So I'm using all the same principles I would usually apply to flathead fishing. Just on a less coordinated, less efficient method. It's definitely more challenging, but very much more rewarding. Another thing I'm doing here is keeping my retrieve fairly slow, which is quite easy to do when you're fly fishing because you're stripping and yeah, well, there's a blowfish. Oh, what's following him? More blowies. When you're stripping, it's, it's actually a fairly slow kind of jerky motion, which is perfect for flathead as it is. But yeah, don't trust what I say. I'm a novice fly fisher. In hot, coming in hot. Oh, got him. Saw him. Oh, another flounder, I think. Oh, yeah, come on. Absolutely killing it on the flounder. Oh. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh, that's a really good flounder. That's a cracker. This is insane. I never thought I'd get this many flounder. But uh, this is very positive signs for the swan if these guys are around in any numbers. Because it hasn't been the case for the last 10 years or so. Oh, and he's got it on the outside. Thank goodness. Finally, one that hasn't swallowed. Come on, mate. Let yourself go. That's a real cracker. Might actually be able to see this guy let go. Overly keen on it. Let's try and bring it straight past him again. Oh, 
Where'd he go? Oh, is that him? That's him. Oh, there he is. Oh. There he is. This must be like number seven or something. This is crazy. Six or seven. Oh, lost control of the fly line. Rookie error. Don't do that. I would not have caught this many flounder if I was not paying attention to what was going on behind my lure. Because they're actually pretty easy to spot when they come in after the after the fly, or any lure for that matter. Just the big round shadow. Try and oh, settle mate. Another like 30 centimeter plus flounder, this is insane. Just try and de-hook him and send him on his way. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish. Thought I had a little blowy for a sec, but it is not a blowfish. It's a blowfish size flatty. But it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. It's good signs for the river. Oh, no way. Oh, that's a flatty. I paused it because I saw a flounder. <laughs> and then a flatty came and ate it. This is a different fish entirely. Oh, insane. It's not even that hot today, but the fishing is bloody hot. That's crazy. This was not the fish I stopped that lure for. <laughs> Tell you what, one good thing about fly as far as fighting the fish goes is they find it very hard to spit the hooks the um i'll probably jinx myself now but the lack of weight in the fly means they don't have a lot of leverage to throw it with and also the sponginess of the line and the rod really helps to take the pressure off with those head shakes and the lunges that the flatties are renowned for or oh, not another swallow oh Actually, might be right. I've seen a bit of the fly there. We'll see how we go. Still not happy. Oh, bit eager. A lot of, a lot of juice in this one. Oh, in and out of the net. It's not going any of the ways I want him to go. There we go. There we go. That was an ordeal. It's good, like 40 centimetre fish probably. Good sized fish for the swan and well. Unfortunately, they seem to be loving this fly so much, it's going down the hatch on a regular basis. So, yeah, this guy's bleeding from the gills. Might be the final fish of the day, I reckon. I'm gonna call it before I uh, make too much of a dent in the population. I'll walk this guy in. Beautiful swan flatty. Don't flick. It's a good way to hold him is press the thumb right in the middle of their back there. Just comfort lift them like that. And if they flick, just drop them because you don't want to get those spines in you. It's a beautiful fish. And a good one to finish the session. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I did. So that's a win. Got the first flatty on fly, first flounder on fly, and then about what, six or seven others. So yeah, not bad going, not bad. See you guys in the next video.